Custom actions. Just one more thing on custom actions. This is this was bothering me, and I thought I'd take a closer look at it. In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to use custom actions, and we defined a custom action as a string at the top of a class. I wanted to do this in a neater way, so what I've done here, I've, I've commented this out for now, and I've decided to put this in the strings XML file. So I've just created a section called custom actions, and my custom action name is custom action drink beer, and I've labeled it here with, with the string. It's a lot neater. When your project is getting a more complicated, I think it will be nice to have a list of all your custom actions in one place so you can keep track of them. And to use them, it's simple. So in your original activity, when you are detecting the drink beer menu click, this is how we built the intent the last time. Building the intent with your custom action from your strings file is exactly the same, but you reference this get string, and then it's resources string and your custom action name. And in your receiving activity, you do the same thing. So if received action equals this dot get string, our string custom action drink beer. If you look at your Android manifest, I did try to use a string reference here, but it doesn't work. If you know why, let me know in the comments. And let's just see this run. Here is our app, and it should work as it did before. Let's hit beer, and there we have it. Wow, homebrew intent. That's all for now.